welcome to Fusion 306 tutorial today we're gonna make the bushing and the crankshaft go to assembly select the new component type standard internal the name of component is shaft crankshaft and bushing active this that's okay go to create select the right plane here select circle click here make a circle with 127 millimeters and another one with 76.2 millimeters press ok finish the sketch go to extrude select this profile here extrude this 19.5 millimeters and press ok now go to create a sketch and select this face here go to offset select this add make an offset here with 2.54 millimeters press ok finish the sketch go to extra select the, this profile here and select the center here okay no don't select center sorry and extrude this 2.54 millimeters press ok we have this okay create a component from this body okay now show the oil pan you have two components here go to joint select this add here and select this add that's okay the motion here is rigid press ok now go to create select mirror select this object okay this component sorry this component and the mirror plane is the right plane here press ok we have this okay let's put some color here make this black make this yellow that's okay now active the crank and shaft bushing component here let's hide these two components hide the oil pan go to create a sketch select the right plane here select a circle make a circle here in the center with 63.5 millimeters press ok finish the sketch go to extrude extrude this 27.31 millimeters press ok now go to create select this face here select circle center diameter make a circle here with 89 88.5 point, point millimeters and go to offset select this edge here make an offset here with 12.7 millimeters press ok go to sketch dimension the distance between this circle here and this center point is 63.5 millimeters press ok go to constraints select horizontal vertical click here in this point and the midpoint that's ok now select a line make a line from this point to this point here to this point to this point that's okay this line is not coincident here go to constraint select tangent make the line tangent with the both circle okay that's okay go to modify select string cut this
that's okay just put the dimension here again let me see if the distance here is correct that's okay let's make this horizontal vertical again just make this tangent again sorry that's okay we have this finish the sketch go to extra select this profile here select the circle here inside too extra this 19 millimeters press ok now go to create a sketch select this profile here this space sorry select circle make a circle here in the center in the same center of this radio ok click here make a circle with 76.2 millimeters press ok go to Finish sketch and extrude, select this profile, extrude this 26.67 millimeter. Press OK. We have this. Now go to create a sketch, select the front plane. That's OK. Go to create, select project, include project. Select this line here. You can select this body, no, no problem, press OK. We have this, let me hide this body. Now select the uh, select, uh, arc, 3 point arc. Click here in this point, in this line here, in the center of this line, OK? Make an arc here. Go to sketch dimension. The radius here is just create a driving. It is not correct. Let me see what's happened. The it is not a tangent here. Sorry. The sketch dimension. The radius here is 169 millimeters. Okay. Go to coincidence, select this point here and this point and this line, sorry. And we can select the midpoint, like this point and the midpoint here. And the midpoint yeah that's okay now select the line click here in this point make a, a rectangle here just to make a cut okay i will put some dimensions here 20 millimeters that's okay finish the sketch let's show the body We have this. Go to extra, select this profile here. The direction is symmetric and the distance is all. Press OK. Operation cut. Press OK. We have this. Now go to create a sketch again. Front plane here. We'll make the same here. Go to create, select project, include project. And select the selection filter. Select the bodies. Click in this body. Press OK. Now, hide this body here. Go to create and select arc. Three point arc. Click here in this point. And then this point here. Make an arc here. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between this point and this point here is 5 millimeters. The radius is 169 that's okay we have this select the line make a line here just to to cut okay that's okay i'll put some dimensions here for use 30 millimeter that's okay 
finish the sketch show the bodies again go to extrude select this two profile the operation here is cut the direction symmetric and the distance all okay we'll make a cut like this press ok we have this that's okay now go to fillet select this profile here and this profile we have this profile here the pretty here is 2.5 millimeters now clicking add selection set select this edge here and this edge here the pretty here is 0 0.64 millimeters press ok now go to create and select mirror the object type is the body select this body here and the mirror plane is this face operation join press ok we have this now go to move and copy the move object is this body here okay and you can click here point to point the select the this body the origin point is this point here select in the center of the circle okay click here and create a copy in the target point click here in this point in the center of the circle here Okay, we we'll have this. Press OK. Go to Move and Copy again. Select this body here, and here select Rotate. Select this circle here, and the angle here is minus 120 degrees. Press OK. Now again, go to Move and Copy select this profile here the move type is point to point the origin point select the center of the circle here okay and the target point is the center of this circle here create a copy okay you have this press ok go to move a copy again select this face here this body sorry and the move type here is rotate the axis is this circle here move this 120 degrees but look that is the is the other direction of this first this this body okay that we make first and press ok we have this now go to press pole select this face here and extrude this 63.5 millimeters press ok and make the same in this side But here we can use the press pull because it is changed the other bodies, okay? So what we're gonna do is to uh, to use extrude, select this face here, and extrude this 63.5 millimeters. Press OK. We have this. Now go to combine the target body. Is this body here? And the two bodies is the other body here, the body three and body four, okay? operation join and press ok so we have this now click here create a component from this body this component we call rename this crankshaft that's okay you can see the others component here show the oil pan 
now you can show the component one the bush in here let's rename here let's move this a little bit go to joint select here the center of this axis here and select here the the circle you can move this a little bit no problem the correct distance here we'll put this later in the other video when we have the pistons here so the motion here is revolute okay press okay now just to test this we have the cranking shaft here, the oil pan, the first video, okay. The revolute is here. So let me animate this. Here we finish this video. So see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.